As a chef, I'm never sniffy about cooking with vegetables because I know that with a bit of care and attention, they can be turned into something absolutely stunning. For my ultimate vegetarian lunch, I've got a couple of fantastic recipes. Lightly fried, my delicious halloumi and courgette cakes squeeze every last bit of flavour out of those vegetables. But first, I'm preparing a simple slow roast tomato and watercress salad. These cherry tomatoes are perfect. If you haven't got cherry tomatoes, vine tomatoes are good, or even just big, normal, plump tomatoes. Lay the tomatoes on the tray. And these go into the oven for about 90 minutes. If you turn the oven down really low, you can leave them in overnight. To be honest, the longer you leave them, the better they taste. Once you've seasoned them with salt, sprinkle over with some sugar. And the salt and sugar combined speeds up the drying process because you want that nice chewy texture. And then you get these little thyme flowers and just pick off the buds. Garlic, sliced. Then just spread that on. Now the tray looks quite full and compact. For 90 minutes in the oven, you'll see everything shrink down, and all the skins blistering, and the flavor intensifies so nicely. Extra virgin olive oil. That gives a nice earthy flavor to the tomatoes. Place your tomatoes into an oven preheated to 150 degrees C and cook long and slow for an hour and a half. Now, halloumi cakes. There's something quite exciting about halloumi cheese. It's a very firm cheese and it fries brilliantly. Fill the carrots. Great. Not too finely, you want that nice texture. Next, courgette. The secret is keeping it all grated the same. Put that into a sieve. A sprinkling of salt will draw out liquid from the vegetables. Then grate the halloumi. Halloumi cheese doesn't look that tasty, but once you've got color on it in the pan, it's really, really delicious. Now, really important to squeeze out the excess water in the veg, and you'll see all that water that needs to come out of there. If you didn't do this, it will make your little patties non-friable because the whole thing starts to separate. And then mix in with the cheese. Spring onions, chop up the whites and the greens. Now we're going to season that with some delicious fresh mint and fresh coriander. Whenever it's vegetarian, I like to put a combination of herbs in there. Tarragon and parsley, mint and coriander, basil and lemongrass. All delicious on their own, but in tandem, their flavors play off each other. Next, two eggs in. Give that a little mix. Add the eggs to the mixture. And then finally, a couple of tablespoons of breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs help dry out any excess moisture. Mix all the ingredients together. Before you start shaping these, Taste the mixture. Mm. It's really important to identify the seasoning now. If you wait until you've cooked them, it'll be too late to adjust the seasoning. Roll them to a large golf ball. Shape them to like a little mini burger. You can spice these up with some chili in there. If you haven't got fresh chili, chili flakes. And it's something that can be done up a day in advance. To get your cakes firm and ready for frying, put them into the fridge uncovered for 25 minutes. Pan on, get that nice and hot. Whilst I'm waiting for that, I'll get the dressing ready. Slice the red chili, seeds and all, on an angle into shards. Then chop fresh ginger. Season with a sprinkle of sugar and salt. Add some rice wine vinegar. Add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. To finish off, some chopped coriander. Got that sweet, sour, spicy flavor. With my chili dressing done, I can start frying off my halloumi cakes in a hot oiled pan. We get that nice, crisp edge. You can already start to smell that sauteed halloumi with the courgettes and carrots. Smells delicious. Really important to put a nice amount of color on them. As my cakes sizzle away, I can finish off my roast tomato salad. One of my favorite leaves has to be watercress. Just cut off stalks. Shallot rings. Watercress and shallot go brilliantly well together. That shallot looks so dainty when you open up these little ringlets. Don't forget to turn your cakes. Now, tomatoes. 
Whatever you don't use, just jar them and put them in the fridge. Mm. Just drop those slow cooked warm tomatoes over the watercress. The sweetness is incredible. Absolutely delicious. A little drizzle of aged balsamic vinegar gives that tartness to the watercress. Watercress is naturally peppery, so it doesn't need any pepper. Just a little touch of salt and then a light sprinkling of extra virgin olive oil. After five minutes on a medium heat, my halloumi cakes are ready. So important to have taken out that water. You can see it doesn't disintegrate. And then just get your dressing. Take a spoon of it and then tilt it to the side because I want the garnish. I don't want the juice. And if that does not turn you on to become a vegetarian for the night, I honestly don't know what will. Delicious. My crispy golden halloumi courgette and herb cakes with a sumptuous roast tomato and watercress salad, all of the flavour with none of the meat.